My name is Charles. 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. It set me on a journey to better understand this condition. It's taken me around the world as I hope to change not only my life, but others living with this disease. I've teamed up with some of the best in health to find ways to not only control, but to reverse. It does not take much to live for others. And what we leave is how we will be remembered. I hope at the end of this journey, we will see that hope is a good thing and the start of a better future. Welcome to Reversed. It was hard to sleep last night, thinking of how today will play out and anxious to get started. I can't wait to see how they embrace these changes. This show, the first season, meant so much to me that I was able to be a voice for other people that are diabetic and actually um, have a voice for them as well as myself. I'm here to learn everything that I can about keto because going into the grocery stores and trying to shop, you can see keto this, you can see keto that, but is it right for me? So for me, I have to really learn what keto is, the keto lifestyle, and I'm willing to do any and everything that's going to help me live a better, long-lasting life. And so I'm really excited. The keto diet, I have already started it about a month or so, and I've seen substantial weight loss. My A1C is dropping. My regular sugars are dropping. My um, daily insulin intake has dropped tremendously. So I'm here to get it right and to reverse this diabetes problem. I'm here to support my mother, Lisa, by um, encouraging her to stay on track with her eating patterns and to um, help her dive deeper into the ketogenic diet. The main reason that I'm here is because diabetes, uh, particularly type 2 diabetes, has been in my family for generations and um, I am trying to break that cycle. Uh, I've had uh, been diagnosed about seven years ago with type 2 diabetes and um, I would like to learn so many things about how keto and uh, intermittent fasting can help reverse the symptoms of diabetes. Okay guys, during the planning with Charles, we were talking about a way to measure your, the, the point where you are right now, and then figure out how your bodies are gonna change during this process. My name is Dr. Donald Vega. I'm a nutritionist, and uh, I'm really passionate about teaching people that they can change their lives by changing their lifestyles, not necessarily only with nutrition, but a whole set of behaviors that we repeat every day, which at the end is what make or destruct our health. So we're gonna use, uh, this technology is uh, in body and it uses electrical currents that go through your body. So depending on the amount of water and lean tissue, it makes an interpretation and it will give us body fat mass, muscle mass, water and something that is very, very important because it is correlated with insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes and that is liver fat. So mm. Dr. Ken, what can we expect in this process? So what we would expect to see, if this diet is actually a proper human diet, is we would expect to see the most dangerous kinds of fat, liver fat, pancreatic fat, decrease rather quickly 
okay? And ideally, we would put you guys in a, in a big machine in a hospital setting called a DEXA scanner. If you've ever had your bone density checked. Mm -hmm. It can also check for visceral fat and for your body fat percentage. But we couldn't get it up the mountain. I'm so excited to interact with uh, Lisa, Jerome, and Janet. I think that they are the wonderful examples of just the, the regular diabetic walking the street who have been told one million different confusing things. And, and I think the opportunity to have them here in Costa Rica for a week is just, it's glorious. So we're gonna settle with this, but uh, as you decrease your carbohydrate intake and as you increase your healthy fats and your healthy proteins, immediately your body's gonna burn up and get rid of the most dangerous fat, which is fat in your liver and fat in your pancreas. Those are the fats that lead to the, the huge increases in uh, bad outcomes like heart attack, stroke, heart failure, liver failure. So it's, it's very powerful stuff. And it's really hard to know if you're on the right track unless you track and unless you check at the beginning of your journey. So then you can recheck later and go, yeah, look at that. It's going in the right direction. Yeah. So I, I need you to be barefoot because we're gonna stand you up in that machine. And can we remove that boot for Lisa, please? Because we need you to be able to stand up in there. Can you do that? Um, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful because I don't have an ankle joint, so it. Okay. But I'll be very, very careful. Okay, we can help. Okay. Lisa has one of the many diabetic complications that you can have from long-term uncontrolled diabetes. She has something called Charcot, deformity of her right foot. And it's gotten to the point where she has to wear a special boot. Uh, she had several surgeons tell her she needed to have the foot removed. And Lisa's a bit stubborn. So she said, no, it's my foot. I'm going to keep it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so she has to wear this special appliance in order to keep her foot and in order to, to have any degree of mobility. And uh, I applaud her for wanting to keep her foot. Yeah. And hopefully we can keep that foot for the rest of your life. But uh, she has to wear this thing. And so your, your right foot needs to be in contact, but obviously you're not going to put any weight on it, it but it does need to touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's just She'll be putting just, pressure on your side, mostly. Okay. One quick note, we Get need your feet to right. wrap her from her clothes, not from the skin, because it's going to yep. affect the real Okay. Okay, great. You can put it back. There you go. Okay, go ahead. Uh, extend a little, a little lower. There you go. People will understand that with simple steps, simple steps, there's a lot that can be achieved. And Reversed has a mission, and the mission is to start spreading the word one by one, and I believe, and that's my belief, that if we can get all together and you know push all this information, um, people's lives can change not only in English but in Spanish as well. And we're talking about potentially the whole world experiencing a different way of living just by changing little things. Okay guys, this is the first part. We're gonna measure this again on Sunday, the sixth day, and then we're gonna do it again once you have finished the program and see the great results that you're gonna achieve. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up on Reversed. Today I'm grilling burgers with everybody and we like to call them meat cookies. My vision is back since then. Is it? Yeah. I can see the mountains, I can see the water. <laughs> I, I was gaining weight and I had tried every diet out there. I felt uh, tired. But once I found Carb Manager, I started losing immediately. Carb Manager is an app that teaches you how to do keto and it makes it easy. I use the daily weight log. The Keto Academy. I've benefited by having a community. Carb Manager gave me my life back. Download the app, set up your profile, and just get started. Keto Chow is a customizable shake mix that is also perfect for cooking and baking. 
giving you simple, nutritionally perfect meal options. Keto Chow. Make keto easy. Discover your favorite flavor at ketochow.xyz. My name is Charles. I am the producer and director of this wonderful series. We are a full-service production company that produces award-winning films and documentaries. We would love to help you create something special, be it a TV show, a film, or maybe something for your brand or company. Contact us today and do enjoy the series. My name is Maria Emmerich, and I am a nutritionist who specializes in the ketogenic diet. Um, I'm also an international best-selling author of over 16 books that based, are based off of the ketogenic diet. Today I'm grilling burgers with everybody, and we like to call them meat cookies with my family. My boys are 10 and 11. They eat this way. It's the most nutritious way that I believe to eat. And it's really easy. I just prepare a bunch of patties and I just season it up with my Redmond Real Salt. My tip is to only season the outside of the burgers because otherwise they'll dry out, all right? And then you're just gonna put it on your nice hot grill. And instead of bread, we're gonna use lettuce wraps. And it's just so simple to use that. My kids love them. Um, and then we're gonna have some garnishes like we have some mustards. I made a couple of sauces. I made my blue cheese dressing that's called the best blue cheese dressing. It really is the best. I also made a special steak sauce for one of the doctors, Dr. Ken Berry, who loves a good steak. I said, you put it on your meat cookie and it will remind you just of a steak. And these burgers, you can cook them to medium, medium well, however you want. It just takes minutes. Some of the misconceptions that I want people to realize that about keto are, well, for one, that too much protein turns into sugar. It's a demand-driven process. Um, don't, don't fear the protein. What happens is a lot of women will try keto and they'll do fat bombs or fat fasts. Women in particular, um, they, cut, they cut all the protein out also, along with the carbs. And then they say, Maria, I'm losing my hair. Um, they have a lot of different issues going on. It's usually because, or their thyroid is having issues. It's because they're not focusing on protein. However, most people try keto because they want to lose weight. What's the best thing to reverse diabetes? Shrink those fat cells. What's the best way to do that? You don't have to eat 70% fat, okay? So you can dial that down. I'm not saying no fat, but I'm saying I have clients that'll say, Maria, I didn't reach my fat percentage for the day, so I did a shot of MCT oil. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Um, another thing about hamburgers, hamburgers are a very keto food. When you think about nutrients, if I put a plate of kale in front of you, a plate of blueberries in front of you, or a plate of ground beef, or beef, a steak, which one would you think is the most nutrient dense? It's not the kale, it's not the blueberries, it's the meat. The meat is where most of the nutrients are at, more than any kale, more than any blueberries. So don't be afraid of meat, it will serve you well. I am so thrilled to have Maria as an expert on the series. The best of the best in keto recipes. I knew how important food would be for the guests to fully understand that keto is much more than what people imagine. Maria's recipes would help jumpstart the guests and provide amazing meals to both experts, crew, and of course the guests. Maria's passion for her journey in keto just jumps off the screen, and we were blessed to have her not only to educate, but prepare these amazing dishes. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. Holy cow. You stay right there. How have you been? Oh, wonderful. It has been forever. I know. Too oh long. my goodness. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited to see you. I'm excited to see you too. You know, yeah. I, I never got a chance to really talk to you much about Roger. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Like, it's I mean, okay. I know that's really, really hard. It was. It was. It was devastating. Yeah. But um, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Yeah. You know, here 
it's going to be one of those times, as you know, it's time. You know, it's time to get back on the horse and really, yes. right? So this is like a reboot. Yes. What's what's life been like well, since Roger passed? Um, my vision is back since then. Is it? Yeah. I can see the mountains. I can see the water. <laughs> I can see well, the you. Pretty mountains to see. That's for oh, sure. Oh yes, I'm beautiful. loving it. So that's what, a positive. What about in here, though? I it's heard. Been... I miss him. I miss him. What do you miss the most? I miss the companionship. Those dumb jokes he used to tell. You know, I'm allergic to alcohol. Every time I drink, I break out in chains. Okay? <laughs> I miss those. But um, I talk to him a lot. And he Take comes to me in visions in my dreams. And those are always really wonderful mornings to wake up to. But life is different, and I've had to... I'm still in the house up on the hill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do it. <laughs> I still... I can get in and out of a car. I cannot go down to get my mail yet, but I have a system worked out. That's good. So... What's next? Lisa's taking care of Lisa. <laughs> so this trip, I think, is going to be... It's just going to be a great reboot for you. It is. And right? Because life's different now. Yes. But even though you don't have your partner, your husband, with you now, you still have your family with you here. I do. Yeah. And I do. And my kids were so good. Being the support emotionally um, that she may need during this time. Uh, since the last season, she ended up uh, losing a dear loved one, Roger, and we all did and it definitely took a toll on her mentally and emotionally. I just loved it. It's okay. You can't go back. You can't go back. And the one thing you gotta focus on is how you loved him then, the things that you did with him then, because you are doing the best you knew how then. Yes. Right? So now his time has come and, and God did whatever he wanted to do with him. He took him home. So it's not about the things that you didn't do. It's about the things that you do now. It's the, the things that we do moving forward. Because this is going to be a reboot and a restart. Remember, yes. there's, a, there's, a great, there's a great passage in a great book that I love. It says, forgetting those things that are behind, straining towards what's ahead. Yes. It says, I press on to win the goal, to win the prize. Yes. Right? So the prize is ahead. It's not in the past. That's right. And you're That's a great right. wife. I wish I had been better. You were a great wife. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Okay? There was never a moment that I didn't love you him. You loved him every second. I know I watched it. You were a great wife. And still are. Okay? Well, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Coming up on Reversed. You must have some questions, and you must have some concerns. And I am very happy to be here with you today so that we can talk about what diabetes is and to help you out with whatever questions. New Lysolin Weight Loss Shake for people with diabetes is a delicious meal replacement. It's the only shake with the patented Lysolin ingredient to reduce glucose. Lysolin works like a sponge to absorb glucose and actually remove it from your body to help you control blood sugar. Lysolin is a safe, natural dietary supplement shown effective in published clinical studies. Find Lysolin Weight Loss Shake at Lysolin.com or at Walmart.com. I struggled with my own mental health for over a decade. I suffered quite severely and it was a really dark period of my life and I wanted to invest you know, my, my whole life towards a big hairy problem and the only thing that I cared about that much was fixing mental health care. 
I hope one day that Spring Health is the company or the, the organization that people point to and say, that company has set the new standard for mental health care and continues to raise the bar. So I literally feel like a, a proud papa. Um, I got you guys all here, and um, I, I literally brought in some of the best of the best. And, and, and for me, it, it, it's a privilege. And Dr. Ken Berry is literally one of the best of the best. I mean, this is like a guru of, of health. So for him to say, I'm going to come here and take a week out of his time, when he is a doctor that is practicing, is, is mean so much to me. Because to have a dream and have people like this support that dream, uh, I truly thank you, Dr. Ken. It's my pleasure. You guys have a, a great session with Dr. Ken, and um, we have many more to come. All right? Thank you. Yeah, thank right. you. Good, Love good. it. All right, guys. How's it going this morning? It's going pretty good. Yeah? Good, good. I know that we've thrown a lot at you guys. You must have some questions and you must have some concerns and you must have some things to talk about, so. My doctor prescribed a thousand milligrams of metformin <clears throat> and my biggest fear is going on insulin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And it's it not, be. I'm not afraid of needles, it's not that. It's just that I, I wanna try and, and uh, you know, a different way, a natural way yes. to defeat this if it's possible. The reason that doctors ignore the diet and lifestyle thing is because, first of all, doctors are trained to prescribe medication. Mm -hmm. That's what they're trained to do, right? In our modern medical schools, uh, all doctors minimize the diet and lifestyle changes because they don't think they're gonna work. This keto way of eating is helping us all rediscover the proper human diet and the proper human lifestyle and how we should actually eat on a daily basis. With type 2 diabetes, that's another thing they notice is a few weeks or a few months into keto, when they stand up, they start getting lightheaded. They're like, oh, I don't know, what's wrong with me? Their blood pressure is returning to normal mm. or close to normal. Mm. And it's time to stop some blood pressure medication. Mm. Now, you're reaching the point with keto because you've been kind of dirty keto for a couple of months and now very clean keto the last, since you've been here. Yes. And you're starting to get a little lightheaded when yes. you stand up. Yes. And that's a very common sign that you're on too much blood pressure medication. So we're, we're in the process of getting a blood pressure cuff in here and we're gonna start monitoring your blood pressure because I suspect it's time for you to throw one of the blood pressure pills in the garbage. Do you truly believe that your symptoms can be reversed through diet? 100% uh, do, because I, I did it myself and then I tried it with my metabolically just destroyed patients mm -hmm. who weighed 300, 400, even 500 pounds. I would be like, well, dude, I mean, do you mind eating, eating beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for a month? And, and all of them were like, well, no, that sounds great. <laughs> I've been eating the keto way for at least eight years. And uh, that's not to say that I haven't had a, a, a slip up here and there, but on the whole, I eat the ketogenic way. And... I think that my friends and my family and my patients, they've seen the change in me. And I think that that probably speaks much louder than my words, is them knowing the old me and how I used to look and how I used to feel. I think that's very powerful for friends and family and for patients to actually see you walk the walk and see you benefit. So if you told me that and you were my doctor, I would say to... I would think that you're joking. Right. And then, you would think and you're then, being sarcastic. Yeah. Yes. And then also, the but the key component here is cut carbs and sugar. Right. I mean, in conjunction with adding protein. Right. Protein and fat. Yes. yes. We've all been misled and we've all been mistaught. And that includes doctors and dietitians as, as well. And one of my biggest hopes out of this thing we're doing here is number one, to help your guys' health. 
that's the, my number one goal. But no, number two goal is to hopefully shift the conversation mm -hmm. away from plant-based vegan is the way and don't even you, you don't even get to have a conversation about any other option. That's not the proper human diet to eat a plant-based vegan diet. That's not it. And only chronic disease and chronic inflammation and chronic vitamin and mineral deficiencies, that's what's going to come from that ultimately. Maybe not overnight, but ultimately that's what's going to happen. But that's the ultimate goal is to eat. If, if the meat wasn't regeneratively ranched, I don't want to talk about it. If the, if the plants were monocropped and destroyed the soil, I don't want to talk about it. Anytime in the future you hear somebody out there say that just a blanket statement, meat is bad for you, remember, what, what species am I? What have we eaten for the last quarter of a million years? That's fake news. They're trying to mislead you. Hi everyone, it's great to be here with you today. My name is Daniela Rojas. I am a psychologist and I'm a diabetes educator. I also work with the only patient association for families and people living with type 1 and type 2 diabetes here in Costa Rica. And I also have lived with type 1 diabetes for 29 years. And I am very happy to be here with you today so that we can talk about what diabetes is and to help you out with whatever questions you might have about this. So can any of you tell me what you understand type 2 diabetes is? Would anyone feel comfortable? Well, I'll start off by saying that um, it's, I believe it's genetic in my family as well. And I believe it's um, due to the, the pancreas not functioning properly and not producing the insulin mm -hmm. that your body needs uh, to regulate your sugars. So that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> Anyone else want to chip in? I think that she nailed it for me, exactly. as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> she did. That's a great answer. The reason I ask this is because often people, whenever they get diagnosed, they get a lot of myths and a lot of misinformation mm -hmm. regarding the condition, am I right? And often tend to confuse even types of diabetes. Mm -hmm. I myself live with type 1, you guys live with type 2, and they tend to mix up and sometimes exactly. it get difficult to understand what is actually happening with our bodies. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, indeed, um, type 2 diabetes has a genetic factor. It also has to do with your age. People can get it come on, well, all when they grow older. Mm -hmm. And then you can also get it because of your weight mm -hmm. or your eating habits mm -hmm. or if you're not moving enough throughout your life. But what you mentioned about not being a sufficient production of insulin is the key yep. to understanding type 2. Because unlike people living with type 1, people living with type 2 actually produce some mm -hmm. kind of insulin, right? Mm -hmm. Or they can produce it for a long time. This is what allows them to actually live sometimes a long time without actually being diagnosed. But it is insufficient. It mm -hmm. is not enough or is not used properly by our bodies or by their bodies. And then eventually, when you get diagnosed, you understand that you have type 2. This is why often people also can use oral treatment compared to people living with type 1, who us, we always have to use insulin. It's the only way of treatment that we have. So I believe we should all be very mindful of how the people are feeling, and that's why the first question should be, what are your thoughts on this? How are you feeling about this? Mm -hmm. And work from there, because maybe someone needs a helper. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone needs someone to actually give a hand at this particular moment in order to make this successful because it's okay to not be okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay to not feel absolutely safe. And actually what they often never say as well is that it's our life in our hands. We have to take decisions every day and that can be scary. So I think that is very important. The fact that we have to deal with this every single day should be very much acknowledged and worked with in every consultation. Thank you, Daniela. Yeah, welcome, yeah. thank you. Very informative. Thank you. Coming up on Reversed. So I wanted to bring these lovely young people. Um, I started with this restaurant uh, two years ago. I was gaining weight and I had tried every diet out there. I felt uh, tired. But once I found Carb Manager, I started losing immediately. Carb Manager is an app that teaches you how to do keto and it makes it easy. I used a daily weight log. The Keto Academy. I've benefited by having a community. Carb Manager gave me my life back. 
download the app, set up your profile, and just get started. Hi, I'm Katherine Arnston, the founder and CEO of Energy Bits, the algae tablet company, and I'm so glad you found us. We sell two types of algae, spirulina, that gives you energy and satisfies your hunger, which is why we call ours Energy Bits. And the other algae is chlorella, which helps you recover from your day, which is why we call it Recovery Bits. It pulls out toxins and builds your immune system. The two algae together will help you feel fantastic and like a superhero. That's why they're superfoods. Visit us at energybits.com. So I wanted you guys to, you know, while we're out here in beautiful Costa Rica, it's, it's, it's of course, it's amazing learning, but we're in a, a, a culture that is a very beautiful and a proud culture. So I wanted to bring these lovely young people to not only know that we're going to be here to, to learn, to, to share, to be educated, but also that the guest, whether it's Jerome, Janet, Lisa, Amanda, uh, Carl, uh, Asa, Ken, whoever it may be, Dorian, Gemma, that, that you guys are here to also enjoy not only the culture, but the food, the people. And I thought, what better way to, to, uh, to open up the night, or close the night, uh, with these young, lovely young people uh, sharing and dancing. So I'm actually going to get in one of these dances too as well. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> no? No? <laughs> okay. So enjoy and uh, and uh, we've got some great food after and uh, I look forward to an amazing week and uh, a blessed week. So all right. Take it. was their first night, and everyone was already working away. I wanted them to relax and enjoy their time. We have a short week with lots of learning and some long days ahead. But I wanted to welcome them with these lovely traditional dances from the city of Atenas, Costa Rica. Of course, I had to get in there and show them how it's done. I'm not sure if I quite showed them how it was done, and I think I may have pulled a muscle, but I do know it was a joy for all. Let me tell you, it was amazing. You know, when I first came here, I was kind of skeptical because I thought, okay, again, here we go, we're gonna take something away from me. And to actually experience I mean, it was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was in hog heaven, <laughs> per se. Even though Maria is our chef and educator on this show, I brought in this lovely person to show what locals from Costa Rica are doing. So, I've got a special surprise for you. I brought a young lady here who actually helped me in the kitchen. She was my helper. I made all of this for you guys yeah. with, with a little bit of help from her. She didn't do much, she just kind of poured some of the ingredients yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, no, I'm joking. But you know, what I wanted to do was keep to the tradition. We've seen some beautiful things while we're here in Costa Rica so far. But she is doing some amazing things in Quito and has a beautiful restaurant in San Jose. Mm -hmm. So I want you to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell them a little bit about the food. Tell them a little, a little bit about what you're doing as far as your restaurant and, and your passion and why you even made it because you were actually diabetic yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell them. Well, um, I am, my name is Clarissa. I am 27 years old. Um, I started with this restaurant uh, two years ago and I had diabetes too. Um, I start with all of this because 
It really helped me、um, to change my lifestyle and my health life. So far, I was looking at people that it starts to say、e、keto diet is very expensive. Keto diet is very boring. It's just bacon and eggs. It's just cheese and bacon, and it's not truth. Here is the reality of keto diet. It's same as a regular diet. So tell us. Number one, a little bit about each dish. How about that one? Okay. That, is, that looks fantastic.、Um, right now, I have a keto lasagna that it's made with、um, palm heart, mozzarella cheese, and chicken. Then I have two types of spaghetti in my restaurant:、uh, the almond flour one or the palm heart one. So if you guys don't want the almond flour, you guys can choose this one. Then poke. Um, this one is with、uh, cauliflower or palm rice, though. This is the salmon poke.、Um, sandwiches. I have like six types of sandwiches, and this is with、uh, almond flour bread and the、um, uh, bread burger. That it's all also with、um, almond flour bread,、mm. and so you guys. And you make that、cheese. one too. Everything. It's even the maintenance is、wow. done in my restaurant. This is my my idea of restaurant, like low budget, so you can keep going with this lifestyle and looking like a lifestyle, not like a diet. True.、Mm, that's good. That's good. And I always say too, it's like for everybody watching and everybody here now, realize that this lifestyle is unbelievable, and there's nothing that you're gonna miss. There's nothing that you're gonna miss.、Mm -hmm. um, so let's 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 dig in. Thank you. Coming up on reversed. So excited to work with these good folks. I don't think at times even our guests understand how dangerous this can be. Ready to eat your favorite dishes again without the sugar and carbs? Pork and Good Pork Rind Crumbs, the breadless breadcrumb, have become a life-changing pantry staple in hundreds of thousands of keto diet homes across the country. Replace your traditional breadcrumbs and coat it on for low-carb breaded chicken fingers. Mix it into meatballs or sprinkle it on as a crunchy topper. Pork and Good Pork Rind Crumbs make living a ketogenic lifestyle easy and sustainable. Get free shipping and take 10% off your order with promo code Reversed at www.porkinggood.com. My name is Charles. I am the producer and director of this wonderful series. We are a full-service production company that produces award-winning films and documentaries. We would love to help you create something special, be it a TV show, a film, or maybe something for your brand or company. Contact us today, and do enjoy the series. It's been a day. It's, good, good It's day. been a day. It's been a day. It's been a good day. And、uh, just wanted to kind of chat, see how you guys are feeling, where you're at, and、um, you know,、uh, you say something. Or... No, I'm just I'm excited to be here.、Yeah. So excited to work、yeah. with these good folks. Yeah. And、uh, they've been given so much、yeah. bad information、mm -hmm. over their careers, diabetics.、Mm -hmm. So much misinformation.、Mm -hmm. That I've I've been chatting with a few people and it's it's astounding what they've been told to eat and not to eat, avoid this, add this. They told us something and we just blindly accepted it as fact. But what really needs to happen is we need to re-examine everything we think we know, because quite often what you think you know is not the truth. And and I, and I know I had kind of shared with you guys even my little scare that I had with with you know the. And it's weird because I do these things, and I remember just recently being in, in the doctor and dealing with this stuff. And I, I didn't really probably share it with like with you, Doctor Delphin, or anything like that, because it, it does make you kind of. It, it's a little embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing having to deal with some of this stuff.、Um, everything was fine, thank God, but it was it was initially some protein in the in the, in the urine, right?、Mm -hmm. And.、Um, And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I make shows on this stuff, and I, and I'm like, you know, what is happening to me? 
and um, for like two weeks, I was I, I'm looking I'm looking up Ken's videos. I'm like, hey, what does Ken <laughs> say about this and how to do it, how to get rid of it, and all this? I'm, I'm literally, and I'm like, and kidney, you got some. He got this stuff on some kidney issues, and and um, I was terrified. And I'm like, you know, I think that I'm a little bit knowledgeable on this stuff, but then I look at other people who have no clue, who don't even have, who don't even have doctors. Literally, there are people mm -hmm. who don't have doctors right now, mm -hmm. and 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 I end up finding a nephrologist, um, going back, sitting in there in fear, um, ready for the worst outcome. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm I, you know, because my my first my my primary care, which at, even after that, I kind of said to myself, I think I need to get rid of her because she hasn't been proactive per se. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I like her because she's accessible, but that's about it. Like I said, I went to the doctor, went back, he came in, and uh, he said, I've got good news. And I'm like, okay, well, where's the, I know there's a bad side to that. Where's the, the, I got bad, good and bad news. And he said, yeah, everything came back perfect. He said, I even checked for minute traces of, of protein and no blood, no anything, you know. And I'm like, wow, you know. But it was such a shock. And I thought, you know what, I wanted to come here and really share that. Because I don't think, I don't think at times, even our guests understand how dangerous this can be, if not taken seriously, yes. So I'm glad, you know, for me, I feel like I have the dream team over here from nutrition to the to diet, to exercise, to meters, to, to therapy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I would love to just kind of hear your take on where you think we should really, you know, go and some of the things that we, we may need to address, you know, to, to, to get where we need to go. Because the information we're giving here can, can send ripples. Well, I'll say today the coolest comment I got was from Jerome, and he said, I finally feel like I, I can do this because I know I can eat good food. I mean, you can tell them, cut the sugar, cut the carbs, all of this and that, but until they get to actually taste delicious food that's easy to make, then they're like, yeah, I can do this. It's now that I have the tools on mm. what to eat. And mm. so that, for me, that was like mm. an A-plus thing. Mm. Yeah, and the fact that we when backwards, normally you teach people what to eat and then they go through the process mm. of cooking and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But since they started with the, the dishes and they can see how this can be really delicious mm -hmm. and not being mm -hmm. held back from the things people normally like, especially fat, mm -hmm. which we have grown That's to weird. think it is a bad thing. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be much easier tomorrow or whenever we do that, the acceptance of the information because they have gone through the, you know, the, the exercise of eating before they knew why they need to eat this way. When you see people that are really, really sick from lifestyle factors and not necessarily genetics, but genetic activated life factors, it gets really inspiring because now you know there's a lot that you can do. When you have a condition, it's that fear. You know, you talk about you immediately feel hopeless, you have no recourse, and you, you turn to your doctor and say, doctor, what do I do? And the doctor gives you the course of action by empowering us, the patients, the people, and saying, you have choices. This is not a diet that you go on until you get better, until you lose weight or are in remission or your diabetes is reversed. You have a lifestyle that you live that incorporates all the things you live so you can be sustainable. The whole beauty of the reversed philosophy that the team is embracing is that you can reverse things. You can make it better. Not with pills, not with prescriptions, not with interventions, but with lifestyle change. And you take that power to your practitioner, your doctor, but you are strong. And all of the people here have such energy and such power mm -hmm. and we have to remember that. Mm -hmm. and that, that I just want to say that's a great point you talked about options you know one thing we know from the behavioral health perspective is when you give people options you know, like I said you empower them 
But in the same respect, you're giving them the opportunity to take a look and, and explore what they can do if they have the ability to make a change themselves. They're in the driver's seat. And when you give that person the ability to say, I'm taking the action, I'm the one doing this, they're more likely to follow through. Mm -hmm. As opposed to when, like, I don't know, I think some of you have children. Mm -hmm. And so when I, when, I, when I told my children to do something, they would push back. But when it's their idea, yeah. it's the best idea in the world. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's what we want to do, is not to say that the guests are children by any means, mm -hmm. but it's human nature to push back when you're told to do something, as opposed to when you feel like, this is my decision to do this. My choice. Mm -hmm. my, my takeaway is listening to all the stories mm -hmm. and realizing that, that we, we get together so often, we, we've been in this bubble and slowly the edge of the bubble is getting bigger and bigger. And that when do we get to that tipping point that we can burst out? Because you, know, you keep hearing from people and like, I didn't know about this. I hadn't heard about this. And like, we think we're trying to get the message out. Well, we haven't yet. And our ability to do that, like, it empowers those people to make the change themselves, not from us telling them how to do it. Very true. True. Bringing this through television, I think that's a real point. Well, I think, I think the good thing about this is you could sit in the comfort of your own home mm -hmm. and it's, it's concise information that you don't have to try to find that video to figure out that. You wouldn't even that, know to look for something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I think that when it comes to being able, and that's really what you know, I, I, I'm, I'm so glad to have you guys here for, is to be able to give that information so that people can say, you know, this look is where this. I found this, exactly. Yeah, especially the mental health side too as well. I'm, I'm excited for you to, to jump in there and work with everyone. And, and um, because I, I, obviously, I believe that is a, 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 a strong point in, in, in someone taking their condition serious. Because obviously we've seen, you know, some of the guests who have kind of felt fallen back and you know, different issues and circumstances, but just want to make sure that they can can stay there this time, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, figure out how, between all of us collectively, mm -hmm. that we can make that happen. Yeah. Our roundtable conversation, I think, is one that many talk about, but few see from some of the experts on this level. It's very hard navigating this healthcare system, let alone trying to stay healthy. The information is out there, but needs to come and be seen and heard by millions. I'm hoping this platform that this one can be the one to spark some change. Tune in to the next episode of Reverse. Create and generate energy. It's wonderful to see you all here right now. She stayed with me for six weeks after Roger died. I want to make sure that we give you good food. Jerome? Yes. You got some good news for me? You just tested.